Hello guys and welcome back to the Isle of Wight. It has been a very long time and we'll get to that. Lots to update you on but let's first kick off by what you may have noticed on the introduction screen. We have a new logo. The original Pug Gaming logo has been around for a good four years and it's time for a bit of a change. During this time off we have put together a new logo and here it is. I hope you like it. I am so pleased with how this turned out. Let me know in the comment section below what you think to the new logo. But enough about that, let's move on to the reason why we do these videos and that's to play and build in City Skylines. Now as I said it has been a long time since I released a video. I have been working on things over the last 5-6 to six months on and off, not as religiously as I would have hoped to, but this funny and strange year we've all been having has affected us all in many many ways. But last time round, if you can recall that far back, we worked on this beautiful British allotment area on the island. And it really got me thinking of where we should go next with our build. We've obviously worked on quite a lot of unique areas and there's many more on the island, don't get me wrong. But there was one area in particular that I was lucky to visit during this time off. Not only that, but this particular area is a very fond area of myself lots of memories there it's a place that i've been going to since a very young age and i just love it it's probably in my opinion the best beach location on the island now i know this is coming out over the christmas period but hey why not we can throw out some nice summer vibes to get us back into the mood and feel a bit more cheerful so that's the plan for today and we have got a lot to build in this particular location. As I said, it's a place that I know very well and I want to spend a lot of time detailing and really get a nice vibe going. So if you haven't guessed already, the location is Shanklin. Now, the Shanklin beach area is a very interesting location. In terms of how it looks, it's very, very unique in terms of the beach is a lot lower down than the mainland, I guess, as you call it, in terms of the housing above it. So it has this really incredible and unique tier structure. So almost like the Monaco build we did many years back, it gives that tier structure of the beach much lower down than the actual housing above it. So you get this really, really amazing view. And the one thing I love about that is this huge curve bend going from the high tier down to the beach tier and I remember as a kid sitting in the car coming to this bend in the road and as you get round the corner you get to see the delights of the beach and everything else around it and it always was a really fond memory of mine and that was one of my goals when I started this series I really wanted to create that feel and that sense of childhood memories of bending around this corner and seeing the beach suddenly light up in front of your eyes. And the videos I'm hoping on screen now will give you a bit of an understanding on what I mean by that. It is almost magical as a kid and almost is today, you know, as an adult, it is a really beautiful view to see. So as you can see on screen now, we're just getting the tiers correct, working on the main high street road where the beach sits along. So whilst you, we, we sort of work on that, I want to give you a bit of an update on where has the channel been for the last six months and what's going on. Well, firstly, a huge thank you to everyone who has continued to support me despite not releasing any videos for some time. Now, everything's been fine with me. Don't worry, nothing bad has happened to me. It's just been a very funny year with obviously COVID and it's just really limited the free time that I have had to be able to create videos. Obviously a little bit of motivation has dropped off in terms of this as other things become a higher priority and I have really missed it. I really have. I've really missed releasing the content, hearing your feedback and just playing the game. It's something that I have used a lot over the years to overcome bad scenarios, situations in my life and it's, you know, it's always been a way of fulfilling my creativity and I am so so glad that I'm back into it because boy have I got a lot of creativity to throw out now. Now things have I say relaxed I mean things have got to a stage now where I can create some videos and believe it or not I have actually got almost 10 yes 10 Isle of Wight videos pending so 
stick around because there's going to be a good two to three months worth of weekly videos on the Isle of Wight, which you don't want to miss because trust me, we are working on some really, really cool stuff in the up and coming weeks. This whole beachfront, in my opinion, has been probably my best creation to date. It looks and feels so incredible that I cannot wait for you guys to see it. The only thing is you're gonna have to wait because I am gonna release these videos weekly. And boy, yeah, I am so, so excited to show this off. It's been such an incredible vibe to build. And yeah, I really cannot wait to get these videos back out and hear your feedback and get back into the city skyline scene. But let's get back into what's been built on screen here. So this is what I was describing earlier as this beautiful curved hill, bridge. It's it's hard to define exactly what it is. But yeah, it, it, the hardest part here that I had was trying to get the look correct because I couldn't use the road as it was without being a bridge because it, it gave a very ugly looking um, sort of hill effect and because I'm using the white uh, the white white rocks obviously the cliff faces it just didn't work at all so in the end I had to create it as a bridge and then I've been using some of these wall keys um, to just try and fill that gap in just to kind of create that feeling of it being a big sort of brick bridge or slope even whatever you want to class it as going downwards so that was a bit troublesome um, it took me a little while to work it out. I didn't have all the footage on on the camera here because it was taking a lot of time. I did redo and delete that area probably about five or six times before I settled on what I thought was the best approach moving forward. Next up, I wanted to create this little corner restaurant sort of area. Um, I mean, in the real life location, it's not so much a restaurant, um, but I wanted to create it in a unique way. And what it is actually like in real life is it almost comes out of the beach on stilts. Now, obviously, the actual building itself is built for that purpose, whereas this one isn't. So I had to be a little bit quirky in the way I did so. So again, we had to use a bit of PO magic to um, to get this to work eventually. Um, but a really cool concept. I never tried anything like this in terms of um, creating a overlapping building. And it was quite an interesting way of doing so. In the end, I ended up using the um, the wooden plats and uh, stakes from the workshop. I think Beard Monkey made these. And it actually works out really well. Um, I tried to make it as realistic as it should look to be um, you know secure enough to hold up um, a whole balcony over over the beach itself um, but yeah I was kind of working from my imagination making it look realistic but also making it seem functional as well so that was actually really cool I'd actually had quite a lot of fun connecting all this up it was a very different way of playing the game in many respects it's not you know it's not really just plopping and going here we are really you know taking construction to a new level here it's almost like you're creating an asset within the game which i really love that concept i know a lot of people don't really enjoy that part of things because it does become a little bit tedious and it is a little bit tricky to do i must say this did take a lot of time to do i did cut out a lot of mistakes and edits from the um from the video itself but I really did enjoy doing this um, it was a very different style of play and again because I only just got back into the game again my mind was refreshed I was ready to battle these um, these scenarios so to speak whereas before I may have just played it out and gone a little bit more easier so that's another benefit of um, of taking some time out of the game as well and sort of refresh your mind and your your palette of creativity now, although we can't really make this a functional 
building in the sense of people coming to it. I mean, we could we could add in some um, some fake um, block areas um, and adding in some event generators to get people to turn up, PPGs, etc., etc. But one thing that has become more common now in the workshop is there's a lot more of the Sims, um, and I've noticed in the workshop. I think they've been on there for a little while now, mind you, but there was some seated props um, of people and females, etc. So that has come at a timely manner for this because we can place those down and make things look more realistic in the sense of people sitting down. They may not be moving, but it does generate that feeling of bringing an area to life. For those of you who have been following the channel for quite some time, you'll know that recently we have been looking at the opportunity to allow you guys to build something for the series. Now, I decided on a farmhouse because it's a relatively small build and quite easy for me to deploy on the island. And, well, I wanted to get you guys involved in the series a little bit more. So if you are interested in building something like this, check out the description details below on how you can do so. This week we have a very impressive build by Wofi. This build is pretty much exactly what we're looking for. It's small, it's simplistic, but it covers everything that's required in a farmhouse. Excellent detail on the decals. I really love that feel of the, uh, the grass combining with the mud. Works really well. And despite it not being overcrowded, it still is very, very highly detailed. Now one thing I do enjoy when I look at these is the buildings that people are using to build their farmhouses. Now there's a large amount of buildings on the workshop to choose from and everyone has been pretty different along the way. So yeah, I really, really am enjoying these. And a big shout out and thank you to you, Rofi, for your contribution on the island. back into the build so what we're working on here now is an area that's very iconic i guess when you're thinking of the shanklin seafront and this is one of two of the crazy golf courses that we're working on right now there is one which is over the other side which we'll work on next week um, but this one here is actually a dinosaur sort of tropical feeling um, course we haven't got any dinosaurs so we're going to go for more of a tropical sort of paradisey feeling um, on this mini golf course so i picked up the mini golf course set from the workshop these work perfectly and even better now is you can use the uh the po and move it etc to change the color of the actual um course itself here so instead of the white that we see here i will change that a bit later on which does make a big difference so remember that feature in the move it options to adds and change the colors you can do it to the buildings as well and it works really really well i found for buildings that are maybe a little bit too white and bright you can dull them down and give it a slightly sort of a, a yellow or blue tinge to it or so either way that's a very thing a very good thing to to keep in mind when you are building in city skylines so just placing these around i mean the course itself isn't anywhere near the same as what it actually is in real life but i just wanted to create my own little crazy golf course um i haven't played crazy golf for quite some time but i have played on this course once or twice when i was much much younger um, not sure how well i would do now <laughs> um, but if you have been to this crazy golf course let me know in the comment section below because i know it is one of those one of those things that you do when you go to the seaside you obviously go on the beach you get an ice cream you have fish and chips Crazy Golf is along the same sort of par of that as, as it is with going to the arcades as well. Very, very British thing to do. So let me know in the comment section below if you have been on a Crazy Golf course by the sea. You'll also notice as well I took full advantage of one of the really cool releases on the workshop over the last sort of six months, which is the, the fountain, the waterfall, the flowing water asset. And I basically tried to create a little mini waterfall, sort of a water feature, which um, I basically just used the rocks, added some bushes and snow around it, um, and then tried to make it feel a bit more tropical here as well by adding in some more tropical plants 
Um, I'm sure a lot of the plants I'm putting down, I mean palm trees for example, probably wouldn't actually survive in the UK. <laughs> um, but again, imagination here guys, let's, um, let's just make things look pretty. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was a really cool thing to add in there and I just wanted to also give a feel of the rotation of the golf course as well here and that's one thing again I think is very important when you're building your cities is making things feel and look realistic and what I mean by that is there needs to be an entrance in an entrance out fences around to hold the sort of area together um, and just you know just simple things like that I find you put those down and it also just adds to the storytelling of your build itself um, which again I really love doing and um, these fences in particular were absolutely perfect for this build really did work really well indeed um, the only downside to it was there wasn't a size in between the small and the large so I had to kind of overlap a few bits as you saw on the work on the um, on the screen there but it is what it is and it's nothing to complain about in that sense. Now another thing I wanted to do was to make the area seem alive um, and what I mean by that is obviously not much of this is going to be functional at all it's a lot of PO work here again as we spoke about earlier we could have, add the sort of PPGs in there and event managers and stuff like that to try and bring people to the location but what I did as well is added a path an actual functional path all the way around and I really do like the texture of this pathway it really does look nice combined with the grass and the, the concrete to sort of contrast against it so the pathways around are functional so we will hopefully get people walking along here and as you can see now as I mentioned to you earlier we are now copying each one and changing the color and that just looks so much better in my eyes the white would obviously work in a different sort of environment but for this particular one as it is a tropical build changing the color of that to a green works so well i am so pleased with how that came out and i've actually really enjoyed trying out different techniques with the sort of plants and trees and bushes trying to make them work trying to get a theme for the series because there are three or four that I tend to use all the time, but I've been trying to dabble with a few other ones to try and bring in a bit of variation um, and just make things look a little bit different than perhaps other areas of the island. And it's just gonna give me a good understanding on what's gonna work, what's not gonna work together. Um, and yeah, I've been actually really enjoying sampling these out. I mean, some areas look better than others, but I'll obviously take away what I have found visually what looks better um, in the longer term now we've moved over to the other side of the main road here and this area here is a sort of a, a little boat yard area um, not sure what the building is here um, I think actually in real life it's not really what it's going to be portrayed as here which I'm trying to make it seem more of a sort of a Oh, not a harbour but a, a location where you can store your boats and maybe there's a little boat repair center in this corner here I like that concept um, and it was just a nice filler area to put in uh, if I mean if you look at this area in real in real life for Isle of Wight it does have boats stored here but I'm not sure what the actual reason is for this actual area but if you are a resident of the island and you know what this area is actually meant to be do let me know because I would be intrigued to. As I say, I've walked past it many, many times upon my travels to this part of the island. I've never really actually looked to see what it is here, other than obviously a location to store um, some smaller boats. And this is probably the first time that I've actually made a little bit of a build and it's felt a little bit like doing Monaco. <laughs> obviously we haven't built a harbour, but we did work on a lot of um, boat storage areas, etc. Um, and it's nice to have a bit of variation again um, in the build. We haven't done anything like this at all on this map yet. Um, so that is another thing that I like doing. I like doing new, new builds and new sort of episodes of areas. And you know, it opens up your creativity and allows you to really look and get a different feeling for an area, which is really, really good. Now the last area we're going to work on is just at the top of the hill. Now there are a few buildings there and they're quite dominant in terms of when you're looking at the beach up against this uh, this little hill drive 
bridge way, whatever you want to class it as. Um, so I wanted to get that in. Um, now I think these are apartments, um, little flats in that sense. So the closest I could find was this building here that kind of gives that feeling off. Um, again, the issue we've got here is because we have put in a bridge here, we can't have a building off of it in terms of its workability because there's no zoning around a bridge. So we've had to do this again as a bit of a PO, a little bit of a, a fake building approach and using the probable asphalt, we've had to then recreate a, um, a, a road, <laughs> a pathway, a, a car park area alongside it. Um, so a little bit of a, a bit of a messy part of the build here, but visually it looks spot on at the end. I'm really, really happy of how well this worked in the end. And combining these two buildings side by side really did add to that indeed. And um, yeah, really, really happy of that. You'll see in a minute we do work on the cliff faces, which is something that has been really bugging me when I've been working on this build. At this stage of the build, I'm thinking of how can we cover up the white cliffs because they look great. Obviously, it's a very iconic part of Isle of Wight. You think of these beautiful white cliffs very much as you do with um, Dover as well, but it doesn't look like this in Shanklin. The cliffs themselves are a bit more chalkier, a bit more muddier. They're not white at all, if anything. So I looked onto the workshop, saw a few different sort of rock props that we could add in. And this was the final version of what I found as the best suited. Now this version luckily comes in about three, four, five variants. So we've got enough here to add around and make it feel and look a bit more realistic if you tend to go with one type i find it doesn't look very realistic in that sense so this i think is what we're going to settle on we're going to get rid of the fact that there's white cliffs we're going to use these gray rock props and add them in i think that's going to be the best way to really make this area pop and it's going to look a lot more realistic so that is my plan. If anyone's got any other ideas, let me know. But I think that's probably the best that we can come up with in terms of what we have to our availability. And we added in some trees on the top here as well to give that final feel. But that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it for this episode, this first episode back for some time. And I'm really pleased of how this has started. I always fear putting down that first building block when you're building something new. You have to make sure it's perfect, otherwise the rest will not work. And I think we have that here. And on that note, I will leave you with these final cinematics and I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching and all the best.